In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you how I would set up a morning routine. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you how I would set up a morning and evening routine in Todoist. Now this might sound a lot simpler than it really is. Now the biggest problem that you're going to face is if you date everything in your list. What that's going to do is create a very, very long today view, which is actually what you're trying to avoid. Because when you have long lists of today in today's view, what you're going to feel is that overwhelm and this like huge amount of tasks that you have to complete in the day. That's not actually a very good view to see first thing in the morning. So what you're best doing is reducing that list and to use the task and child task for these lists. But when you date everything in that list, everything comes up in your today view as an individual task, which is not really what you want to see. So there is a way around this and I'm going to show you that in today's episode. But before I do that, I'd just like to say if you like this episode, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, or oh, please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Todoist and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's imagine that this is our daily routines folder. Now I have this set up as a project, but if you look in today's view over here, we've got all these individual tasks all out here. Now let's be honest, maybe there's a day when you have a cold or you have the flu so you can't exercise. Maybe you wake up a bit late so you don't have time to review your today's objectives. And so that task is going to be hanging over you all day, which is not something that you really want to happen. And so these are all there in your today view. And, you know, on a normal day to day basis, when you include your routines for the day, your morning routine and your evening routine, they're just going to be sitting there in your today view, causing you to feel overwhelmed. Now, that's not really a good way to feel about your day. So what I do here and what I would do now, to be honest with you, I don't actually have a daily routines folder in any way, simply because my routines are done in my calendar. I wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning. I know exactly what I'm going to do for the first 45 minutes and I know what I do for the last 15. Now that's just me and you know everybody's daily routine needs to be different. So the way to handle this, now there is a problem I'll explain in a moment, but the way to handle this is create two tasks. And what we're going to do is going to call this morning routines and I'm going to put that in capital um, you don't have to put it in capitals, but I'm going to put morning routine and I'm going to add in the <clears throat> the star. Uh, sorry, not the star. I don't want to be putting the star in and I want to be putting in the exclamation mark. So I'm going to bold this and I'm going to do this every day. So that's now set up as a, a daily routine task. And it's going to come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that up at the top. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to flag that red because it's something I want to do every day. Now these here, these are my morning routines. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the date. So remove the date. I'm also going to hit shift. I'm going to hit command and forward arrow. That's going to indent it and create a child task. I'm going to do the same for here. I'm going to remove the date and I'm going to go command forward arrow and I'll do the same for this one and command forward arrow, remove the date and I, I should have done less. But you get the idea. We're going to remove the dates from this and I'm going to command forward arrow and move that in. Now what I've done is I've created a, a morning routine subfolder, parent task I should say, which is repeating. So what's going to happen now is, and I've removed the dates from these completely. So when I close that, I can close it. Now let's go into today view. Look what's happened. The today view now has shrunk. The morning routines are now in here. Now they don't have a date. So you're going to have, when you check them off, 
you're going to have it it's going to look like this and what you're going to end up doing at the end of the day is you're going to have to uncheck them because they're not going to repeat when this comes around tomorrow what you've done is you've got these to uncheck now the way i look at this and you know we have to i guess what we're trying to do here is we're, we're hacking this a little bit now i don't have a problem whether it's check off or uncheck so on day one i've checked them all off i feel very happy the next day these are all checked off but all i'm going to do is i'm just going to go down and uncheck them so let's say monday check you know check them all off and then on tuesday when i open up my morning morning routine folder i can just uncheck them which will tell me whether i've done them or not now you know that's one way or you can just at the end of the day for your evening routine you can remove the check mark but that's one way of doing it so your today view now has that set up now what i'm going to do is i'm also going to every day uh, oops every day at 6 a.m so that's going to come up tomorrow because <laughs> already today has gone back so i'm going to go back into this um let's say yeah every day at 6 a.m so you've got the idea with that one and let's say I've done that now once you've checked them all off you can just hit that and that's going to go and as you see that's moved on to Sunday but I'm going to undo that now um, and now let's look at this for the evening task so we do the same for the evening so we do uh, exclamation mark and I'm going to type evening oops can't spell it. evening routine and again exclamation mark so we created that task and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this up here Put that underneath there and then these i can just move in like this whoops we're going to move them in a bit further oh, it's not playing games so okay oh dear <laughs> all sorts of problems going on now to do is so drag that in save uh drag that one in save <clears throat> and this one we do the same move in save and tomorrow move in save so we're doing that and again i got to remove the dates and the quickest way to remove the dates i guess is to highlight do the shift Sorry, it's the shift key and then I can schedule and I can do this and remove the dates from all of those. So that's all removed. <clears throat> and my evening routine is in there. So again, now if you look at my today view, that's all disappeared. Now, the thing is, I need to go back into my day routines. I'm going to put this uh, every day. I'm not going to put a time in that. So this will come up in the evening. So as you can see, that's now. So I've got my evening routine because I haven't flagged it. That's at the bottom and I've got my tasks here now because they're child tasks as i say they don't disappear you can check them off and you can uncheck them it's entirely up to you now what i would do is if you decide to do the uncheck i would add a task so i'm going to add a task underneath um now i'm, going to, I'm just going to add a task underneath uh, uncheck routines something like that uh just drag that in oh it's not playing games okay uncheck tag and then just drag in oops command where 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 uh, okay now we're going to remove that oops so delete that save and that's disappeared now as well <laughs> i'm having a bit uh, anyway you get the idea so you can uncheck the task it's just disappeared from me completely i've probably gone into inbox maybe yeah it's gone into uncheck routines so i can drag that into daily routines like that and then i can just hit this drag it in will it drag in no it's not dragging in anyway you get the idea yay it's dragged in so now it's going to go into underneath my uh, evening routines so the evening routines when you look at it in the day i've got my evening routines when i get to the end of the day i can just open up and i can check off my tasks and then i can just go into my daily routines and just check uncheck if i wanted to do it that way personally i wouldn't bother but that's one way of being able to reduce your today list and keep it so that you're focused on the work that really matters sorry about the little bit of uh, confusion towards the end there but hopefully you get the idea and hopefully this will prove useful for you thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.